What is going on guys, it is the Game Change GS here, and we are back with another episode of Max Upgrades in Forza Horizon 2. And for this episode we are going to be doing the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, and as you all know it is very fast indeed. So we're going to upgrade it, try and make it faster. So if you do enjoy this, and don't forget to subscribe for more Forza Horizon 2 content and gaming in general. Now let's just get on with the video. Let's just upgrade all this, because we want it as fast as possible. Uh, fuel system and basically all the um, everything we can get on this car. Camshaft doesn't really make a difference. Oh, damn! Doesn't really make a difference, but we do want basically everything. Well, it does increase power. Yeah, exactly. Which is what we need. The I like though. All right, intercooler. Wait, um. Increases power. Yeah, it does increase horsepower, so yeah, might as well get it. Oil and cooling. Wait. Um, I think, that, yeah, that increases horsepower. Flywheel, don't know what that does, but it, it decreases weight. Oh, that's cool. Alright, platform and handling. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Whee! Okay, let's get that one. One of the lowest one. Need it as light as possible. And this did cost a lot of money, so. That increases weight. Hmm. Mm, nah, I'm just gonna leave that. Weight reduction, yes. That's good, we need that. Drivetrain, clutch. Yep, definitely that. Transmission. Yep. Driveline. Definitely that as well. Of like there, but oh well. Tires and rims. Oh, we don't need the rims. Yeah. Actually, we may increase it. We'll do that then. Might as well. Alright, so, air um, appearance. No. Well, it's adjustable, but. Mm, yeah, no. It's only look good in the car, and plus, it might really be really well, good. Well, we don't want rear wheel drive. Alright, so that is it. It's all fully customised. Now let's take it to the runway and see how fast it can go. Alright, we're at the runway. Let's see how fast it can go. I mean, we're not really going to test the top speed just yet, but it does handle pretty well. Very fast acceleration. And it looks pretty cool. It's all full carbon. It is very fast and great acceleration. So, let's just take it to the very end of the runway and let's see how fast it can go. Because, well, we want to test the top speed, right? And we know that its stock top top speed is 267. Hopefully, we should try and increase that speed. Let's go back a bit more. Over here. Backing up. Well, you're backed up. Alright, let's go. Try and, uh, try and beat at least six, 267. We've got, we can't go a lot faster than that. So, mate, wait until you see the Alpha 33 Shadarling. Yeah, you tune it. Yeah. It's like you can't drive it. It's like impossible to handle. All right. Um. Uh, oh. Hey. Give me forty-seven point four five. Boom. Okay. If well, if this was realistic, you'll be dead. But it's just. Well, unfortunately, we but we did go quite fast. I mean, there was obviously some more space to drive faster, but we don't have enough runway. Alright, well that's today's episode done of Max Upgrades in Forza Horizon 2. So if you did enjoy it, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more of this game and more content and gaming in general. So we will see you in the next episode.